Uh, I'm Jack Sanderson, the uh, writer, producer, and Santa of Becoming Santa, uh, the movie. Uh, and this is Jeff Myers, the director, producer. I was working uh, with producers and I was working in the entertainment industry in Hollywood. And I noticed at around July, they would start auditioning for uh, Christmas commercials. And many of the commercials, uh, I said something right, the bell rang. And many of the commercials, uh, I would notice that the Santas would show up for the commercials. Each Santa that showed up had their own beard and their own suit, and their wives had driven them to the auditions. <laughs> and so I thought, well, there's definitely a subculture of Santa going on in America that people aren't really aware of. Mm -hmm. um, and then I learned more about Santa. I learned about how, how Coca-Cola had defined Santa mm -hmm. and about Black Peter in the Netherlands tradition. And then I learned about the Fraternal Order of Real Bearded Santas, which which is an organization. It's a it's a fraternal, you know, it's a brotherhood of Santas in Southern California, which has over 500 members uh, who all have real beards. Mm -hmm. and I thought, ah, there's the subculture. Right. And so, uh, but knowing I, is one thing, right? How do you get from knowing? To hey, I want to become a center, and I actually <laughs> want to to go through the training and actually make a documentary about that Jack, whole process. Jack had the idea. I mean, several several years ago, and we kicked it around for mm. a good couple of years after that, trying to figure out how to do it and how we would tell the story and how we would get ground. And for a long time, we thought that we were going to hire an actor that we could get to go through the school to bleach his hair and bleach his beard and, mm. and go through the process, but mm. we couldn't find anybody that was willing to do it. <laughs> um, Jack called me up and said, you know, I'm going to bleach my hair, do you want to shoot it? And I said, sure. And uh, that was really the first day of filming, even though I didn't completely fully realize what we started at the time. But mm -hmm. when I got back home and looked at the footage, I realized, yeah, there's a really, there's a great story here. And, and he makes it really, really interesting watching him go through it. And uh, our, one of our producers, Tyrone Finch, was with us when, when, uh, when we went to do the bleaching. And uh, and Tyrone said to me, "You know this is going to snowball, right?" Yeah, and right. <laughs> I said, "What what are you talking about?" Wait, and uh, and of course he was absolutely right. It snowballed into an avalanche. <laughs> yeah, you, you look like Santa. I mean, if you're if you're bare, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm sure for the season you 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 bleach it white, and then you look just like Santa. I so, will I will be bleaching later this afternoon. I have mm -hmm. my my bleaching shirt and my snorkel in the car, and. Uh, when I get to Calgary next week, I will be in, in full Santa bloom. Yeah, I don't know if everybody understands the full process. I mean, you'll see it in the movie a little bit, but he's mm -hmm. covered. His entire head is covered in bleach and the beard yeah. and the mustache. He can't even hardly breathe. So mm -hmm. he started using a snorkel so he can get fresh air. Holy God. He, oh, in, it's bleach. Uh, now I finally got that. You have to. Like, because everywhere is chemical. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. It's really toxic. And well, uh, it's going to stay that way for hours. Yeah. And it scares the women at the salon. <laughs> Yeah, th this Who is, is that smurf breathing through a tube? Right, this is sacrificing for your art. I don't, if it is not, I don't know what is. <laughs> like all the, all the ble bleaches. And uh, I guess jump around a little. Uh, I, I understand you guys are going to make a special uh, presentation in uh, Calgary. There will be some animals uh, uh, in Calgary. There are going to be some real reindeer at the premiere in Calgary, mm -hmm. and uh, and some of our friends from the Victor Nevada Santa Claus School will be there as well. So there'll be a number of Santas in attendance, uh, and and some reindeer and Auntie Claus. Jen Andrews will be there. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, she prefers to be called Auntie Claus. She runs the Victor Nevada Santa Claus School, right? Which was established by Victor Nevada, who was the leading Santa Claus in Can he was the number one Santa Claus in Canada for years. Mm -hmm. That, and, that, that, uh, he, he passed great. away a few years ago, mm -hmm. and he asked Jen to continue his school for him. Mm -hmm. Right, which leads to uh, uh, in the film uh, or in the process of you being becoming Santa, you actually went to two school, Santa school, and one of them is in Calgary. Can you talk more about the two school and the one in Calgary? Um, the we, I went to the American Event School in Denver, Colorado, mm -hmm. uh, which is run by Susan Mesco. And uh, took my, you know, Jeff and I went there and went and filmed my experiences there. And then we went to the Victor Nevada School in Calgary. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the, it's hard to talk about the differences between the schools because, mm -hmm. so, you know, some people 
each school is for, some school that uh, one school that is right for one person may not be right mm. for another. I mean, uh, everything from uh, makeup to uh, a reindeer training to uh, ho ho hoing. Wow. Right. Um, uh, mm -hmm. And the things that you don't think about, like how to answer the difficult questions that the children sometimes bring up because they put. There's a lot of expectations on, on Santa Claus, and, and he has to sort of be there for everyone and all things and know all things and have an answer for everything. And, in, mm -hmm. and, all, two, and all in two minutes. Right, right. right. And I love. Uh, Santa is kind of brief, you know? Yeah, and I love the, in the uh, synopsis or in the description I've read, like you are creating a lifetime moment for the kids, for the people who actually take the photo with you, right? Right. And, and it's a huge responsibility. Right, and there's some. I'm trying to think of things I can tell you that aren't in the movie. Um, you know, there's there's a whole session at the Denver school mm -hmm. on taking photos with Santa mm -hmm. and how to pose properly for those photos. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that's not one of the things that we don't talk about in the film that we encountered and was a surprise to us is that many of the Santas have to get liability insurance every year. Oh, really? <laughs> in case they drop a child or oh. someone accuses them of poor behavior. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. At the Denver school, one of the things that they made sure was when you take your picture, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. want to make sure that your hands as Santa are visible oh. in the picture. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you and, and you also want to hold the child in such a way that they're not going to squirm too much and that they look good for the picture. And mm -hmm. it is all towards providing a, a positive experience, of, towards creating, but all the schools work towards creating a positive Santa encounter. Mm -hmm. right. Santa might meet, and right. so right. that's right. with Santa. They have to prepare with Santa. The fact that every Santa, one of the things we we learned in the process of it, is that every Santa is the right Santa for their community. Mm -hmm. And it's not like a generic Santa. Right? I mean, it's mm -hmm. right Santa for it's not a generic Santa that uh, that cookie. A cookie cut. Uh, it's it's you, and it speak to your community, and that's it's right. That's what, that's what we found saying. in the process of the mm -hmm. film. Was, uh, I mean, all the guys that we worked with ended up being sort of stylized and flavored for their surroundings and where they were mm -hmm. at. All mm -hmm. sort of the right Santa for where they were. Mm -hmm. Right. They all found their own. Jack, you're going to travel later this year. Is that right? Tell me more about that. Um. On December 5th, I'll be uh, flying to Hong Kong, and I'll be in Hong Kong for, for the rest of, for the entire month of December, uh, being Santa Claus at a, at a mall in Hong Kong. Jennifer Andrews, who runs the Victor Nevada Santa Claus School, mm -hmm. um, has, has uh, she's been my ambassador to, uh, to Hong Kong. She has set up this mm -hmm. uh, appearance for me. Um, I've never been to Hong Kong before. Oh, no? First, first time to Hong Kong? Yes. Yeah, and, I think you love uh, it. I know no Cantonese. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we'll we'll see how Santa does in in Hong Kong, struggling with the language. Cool. I'm having a new suit made because I understand it's in the 70s every day and mm. uh, 70s, low 80s in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Right. So, and you know, Santa's always dressed for winter, so I'm mm -hmm. going to have a suit made that's a little lighter. Mm -hmm. Right. So from the beginning. Of uh, the 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 concept concept of making the documentary, and now later, like in in December, going to Hong Kong for one full month, a place that you have never been. What what is that journey feel like to you? I mean, it's like did you sign up for that uh, of uh, like stuff going to Hong Kong, <laughs> or, or have in your mind that hey, this is what I may end up doing? Um, I don't think either of us had any idea what to expect when we started this journey. It's certainly been an odyssey. It's it's kind of like I've been thrown into a truck. Mm -hmm. And I am watching it as we're passing things. It's like <laughs> I can't see what's coming. I can only see what's what's gone by. Mm -hmm. you know, sort of like sitting on the back of the truck, going, "Hey, look at what happened! Wow, there was that! Oh, mm -hmm. yikes!" Wow, it's all getting further away. You know. That's cool. So thank you very much, uh, Jack and Jeff, uh, for talking t with me today about becoming Santa. Thanks for having us. Thank you.